We have added a couple of pickers to App Inventor. You can see them in the user interface drawer. One of them is a time picker and the other one is a date picker. As you can see, both of them are based on buttons, so you could customize them as any other buttons. For instance, for the time picker, we could say something like pick a time. And we could change the uh, shape of the button. Or for the day picker, we're actually going to upload an image that I already have preparing here. As you can see, you can see the text in there, so we are going to delete it. The way of using these two new components is very, very easy. I'm going to add a label so that we can uh, write the output of the pickers to the label. Each of the components has an after event, and it is after this event is called that you can play with the data uh, set in the date picker or in the time picker. So let's play with the, with a label. We're going to set the text to whatever we get in the picker. So for instance, for the first one, time picker one, let's get a time picker uh, hour, for instance. So let's click on pick a time. We are gonna, because we are setting the hour, I'm gonna set the hour to six. And because it is PM, you're, you're gonna see what is happening in the label. It's actually printing 18. If I had picked uh, AM, it would actually print six. So this is how the time picker works. For the day picker, it's really, really similar. We can get the day, we can get the month, uh, we can get the year. Let's duplicate this block. And let's try and get the day first. I'll click on the image and the day is, say, 28. Click done and now the label prints 28. There is a special method here because uh, in Java, January is 0 and December is 11. So if we pick uh, December in here, let me see, and pick December, we will see that it actually prints out 11. So we have prepared a method called month in text, and this guy is actually, should be printing December. So those are the only things that you need to know to work with time and date pickers.